Hello, Mori here, and in this video I'll be going through a small showcase and unboxing of the lineup for Eldritch Kingdoms Chapter 1, The Tombstone Citadel. Um, basically, I'll be doing an unboxing uh, of the starter deck, the booster pack, and the booster box. So first, um, I have to mention this. These are the two... Um, downloadable files that you can get for free at the shops for each of the of the products for the first lineup, the first chapter's lineup. This is the uh, first downloadable file. It's a card list that you can get. It's a very simple card list. Um, it numbers each card the name, and you can check the rarity, the class, the effect of each card. It's very useful for a quick referential use, um, and you can check there if it's if you have the card or it's. It's very cool for uh, collection and referential purposes. And the second downloadable file here, it's a piece of the map of Teneril. It's one third, so the full map is like three times the size of this. And I had a lot of fun uh, designing it. It is uh, inspired by Lovecraft's, Lovecraft's um, Dreamlands. And f yeah, it's pretty cool for people who want to get a little more insight into the game's setting. Uh, where the story takes place um, and at the top here you can check there it is the icon for chapter one the tombstone citadel and there is the tombstone citadel you can check the game's instagram and facebook for a little more um, detail into the symbology used and various other things that I took into consideration for making this map. So yeah, these are the two things that you can get for free at the shops on the Game Crafter. And now let's go on to this. This right here is the uh, Chapter 1 starter deck. As you can see, uh, it features one of the characters on the cover. This is one of the main antagonists in the whole of the game's story. It's called Lady Lavinia. As you can see, she's pretty creepy. Um, she's the queen regent of the Tombstone Citadel, and there she is. And yeah, let's get this wrapper out. I don't want to damage the box that much. It's very tricky with this plastic wrapper. And there we go. So you can take a better look at the starter deck box. So there it is. And there it says Eldritch Kingdom. There's um, Chapter 1, the Tombstone Citadel. And right here at the back, um, display it's a display of what the starter deck includes. It includes, you can pause the video, I'm not gonna go through each and every single thing. 30 cards and two booklets, the rulebook version 1.0 and the lore book, chapter one, and the information at the bottom. So yeah, open up. And carefully take it out, okay. So up first, You have here the lore book, chapter one, where it is narrated by Sir Julius, who is the protagonist of chapter one. 
it is the story is narrated from his point of view it's very in line with the way most of um, Lovecraftian literature um, develops like the protagonist narrates what's happening from their point of view and here is the rule book now the rule book um, Everything that you need to know for to play in the game is detailed right here and If you don't buy the starter deck and you buy the just booster packs or whatever you feel you want to get those You don't need to worry because uh, Everything that is uh, detailed in the rule book is already up in video format uh, on Eldritch Kingdom's YouTube channel so you can check there's three gameplay tutorials and everything in those tutorials it's is in this rulebook and everything in this rulebook is in the gameplay tutorial so you don't need to worry okay and now I'll go through the cards now this is the back this is what the back of the cards look like there you go Eldritch Kingdom at the bottom Okay, these are out of order. So these are the 30 cards. Tome of Anaximanus. Corpse. Hecatoncher. Situl's Butcher. I had a lot of fun making this one. Arcane Archer. This is uh, you can see the silver icon of the of the set, meaning it's a rare one. Black is common. Rotted Tombstone Arbalist. Black is common. It's a ranged combat card. Murder of Crows. Tombstone Plasmodium. Tombstone Parasite. Sword Statuette. It's a field spell card. This is an instant spell card. Resurrection Scroll, Tombstone Resurrection Scroll. Tumulus, this is one of my favorites. Mausoleum. Grotesque Brutmer. Fiendish Longbowman, excuse me. Ghoulish Archer. Here he is, the other rare one, Sir Julius and Chester. Um, this is also based on a real person. It's a very good friend of mine. Um, Tombstone Grave Robber. Tombstone Parasite. Buried Poison Vial. Tombstone Destroyer, another rare. Polyoculus. Embalmer. Here she is, the character on the cover. Lady Lavinia, Tombstone's Queen Regent. She's very creepy. Malformed Corvus. This is a cool card, I had a lot of fun making it. Murder of Crows. Rotted Scavenger. Corrupted Ragamuffins. This is a sabotage combat card. Rotted Tombstone Guard. And finally, Bastard's Skull, a trap spell card. Those are all the cards that are included um, in the starter deck. Now we'll take a look at the booster pack. Now, this is the foiled booster pack. It features Sir Julius on the cover and it contains. 15 common cards, 2 rare cards, 1 very rare or champion card, and all of the information below. Um, I have to say the Game Crafter did an amazing job on these, I, they came out very well. So here we go. Uh, here we go. 
be very careful here. Uh, there we go. Uh, okay. So let's see what do we got. What what cards did we get? Cool. So first one we got is Sir Julius and Chester. We got Corrupted Ragamuffins. Tombstone Parasite. Lord Kale's Rally Order. Great Trap Spell Card. We got Heart of the Priestess. We got Citadel's Harlot. A nice Orgy of Corpses. It's a heavy combat card. We got Ghoulish Toxophilite. And Citadel's Executioner. Mausoleum. Sepulchre's Reason. We got Buried Poison Vial. Nice. A uh, very rare um, Wrath of the Gods instant spell card. Um, tombstone Priest. Rotted Tombstone Bludgeoner. Hammer Statuette. We got a Cenotaph. And finally, Priest Silhouette. Really cool. Finally, we have the Chapter 1 Booster Box. This is aimed more for people who are very, who believe will be very invested in the game, um, or events, conventions, uh, stores. Um, and I had a lot of fun making this. Um, here, let me get the wrapper. Carefully, like that. So you guys can take a better look at the package. Okay. Okay, let me get this out of the way. So here you go. Chapter 1, Tombstone Pseudo. Booster packs, the game's visual logo on the bottom right. Um, on this side, it uh, displays the what it contains: 20 booster packs, each with 18 randomly inserted cards. Rule book not included. Um, that's the top. Okay, I'll show you then how to pose it. Here we have a little description of the game's lore in terms of the first chapter. It talks about the citadel itself, the queen regent, um, stuff like that. And on the back side, it's a little um, synopsis of what the game actually is and how it plays and little uh, snippets of what to expect from the game and this is what the bottom looks like so yeah um, let me put it here so you can have a better look yeah so the, it actually folds like this and you're supposed to um, whoops place it like that so that's how, basically how it sticks, like that. And yeah, and I guess I'll open one more, I'm very excited, this is very very cool. Okay, so let me put it here, um, okay, so that's done, had a lot of Trouble on the first one. <laughs> okay. And. Okay. Let's see. Seeing the corpse already. There we go. So, 
Oops, got a little something stuck there. So we have corpse. We have sepulchral offering. Another tombstone priest. Church's azure lantern. We got priest's hand. Oh yeah. Lord Anaximanus, Tombstone's High Priest. It's a cool card. He appears in the <laughs> launch trailer. Crypt Keeper. Um, Heart of the Priestess. Spell Word. Lord Kale's Rally Order. Ghoulish Toxophilite. Yes! I got a Mind Jolling Horror. So cool. It's one of the two champions. Yeah, looks very, very good. I'm very pleased with the Game Crafters. Um, printing quality, it's very, very cool. Sir Julius and Chester, oops, sorry about that. It's a Tombstone Plasmodium, another priest silhouette, Sepulchre's Reason, Embalmer, and oh, it's a cool one. A Wandering Mortician. Really like this one. So yeah, um, that's it guys for the unboxing video, I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in the game or in any of the products of Chapter 1's lineup, um, there, are, there will be links to each shop on the Game Crafter, so you can go check it out. And I'll, I also want to take this moment to really thank each and every one of you um, who supports the game, um, uh, across uh, all platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and I couldn't have made it without you, so thank you so much for your support, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you next time, bye.